Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. You caught me here in my studio practicing doing the female forms. You know, you know I like to do my carrots, practicing doing carrots. I got a question the other day, you know, that's great, but how do you do the female figure? The structure is a little bit different, right? So remember a couple of Bob Blast ago, I was doing all these carrot people. I call them carrot people. You just put a little dot on the, for the head and you push down the, on the brush really hard, right? And as you come down, you lift the brush a little bit, eh, we got carrots. So it was fun making them different sizes. It's fun doing a whole page. Look how graphic it is. It's kind of fun by itself. Then we start putting some color behind it like that. So it looks like a bunch of guys in suits at the beach or something like that, right? Now, this is also my Rembrandt lighting, a different kind of lighting. Whereas here we, the top is dark, the bottom is lighter. The bottom of the figure is dark, the top is lighter. So we go from dark to light, and then in this direction, dark to light. So we still have those carrot people figures that we've been practicing on, right? How about the female structure? A little bit different. We all know that the men's, generally, their shoulders are broader than the hips. Hips a little narrower. Female form, just the opposite. Narrow shoulders and wider hips. I didn't make that stuff up, okay. But one more thing I like to do is this. Working with different female forms, but in more of a female classic, Greek classic poses. Let's get started, I'll show you what I mean. And now, let's practice painting the female form. As I've shown you before, this is dark to light, and the figure is dark to light this way. After practicing doing all those carrot people, right, all those carrot people. So, again, you can tell that this is the male form, wider shoulders. And this is the female. Narrow shoulders, a little bit wider hips. Now it's time to practice. Wet the brush, lots of acrylic paint, black, any dark color. And you're just, just like when we did the, the figures that's on the wall behind me, we're gonna do some females. Just practicing, I'm, I'm doing this upside down. You can see it quicker. There's one. I'm not saying these are great paintings. This is just a great way to practice more. There we go. Just, whoa. It can be a little comical sometimes. I'd much rather have them humorous than straight up and down boring, looking out the window, bored. So I like to give them some personalities. Let's do a zigzag one, that's always a fun one, like this. And again, a small head. Over and over and over. So you can go back. And don't forget to ground, put them on the ground. Give them a little bit of a shadow. See, now there's almost a story going on here. A bunch of ladies at the beach, right? Looking at the ocean, there's the ocean. Things like that. Now, let me show you what I like to do with color. So we just finished these. You just saw the demo. And then let's add some color to these. Add a little bit of color here, a little color there. But these are just guys, they're kind of boring, right? Let's, let's put some fun clothing, the fun clothing, on some of those carrot figures. And these are going to be the women. So here's the ones we did the last time. I'm going to start adding color to these. Why do I want to do this? Because it eventually is going to take me right up to my finished paintings. These are 16, 16 inches, 16 inches of my collage and the figures. These are more theatrical people. These are the circus people that I love to be doing right now. 
So we have collage in here. We're still doing dark delight, but now with color and a lot more other fun things to do in there too. So let's get started. So let's put some fancy clothes on these ladies. All right, it's a simple thing to do here, look. Ah, nice red jacket, see how cool that is. Give her a little matching red hat. There you go. What else can we do? Ah, some light pants in here. This is fun. And that's really all you really need to do. Let's get this one. Ah, cool. Give her a fancy hat too. It's fancy hat day. All right, let's go over here. Let's try some of these colors. It's not a color. I don't even, don't even clean my brush. Just go for it. There you go. Very nice, huh? Anyway, I just want you to see how easy it is to add some bling bling. These beautiful women. There we go, look at that. There we go. It is her friend, they're out shopping today. See? Girls going out having fun. There we go. And some more bling bling, here we go. So I just wanted you to see how I take the carrot figure, which are generally men, it's a carrot, right? into the female form, wonderful. And also, I like to also put them in poses that are really gentle and soft. That just happens to be what I'm doing right now. Whether I'm doing the charcoal, these are in my, my workshops where we uh, paint and draw the undraped model, one of my favorite workshops, where we have a live model, which is what a luxury that is. And they're always just relaxed. You don't have to do the entire form. Charcoal again, that was fun. I hope I was able to answer some of your questions about how do you do the female forms? Well, that's how I do them anyway. Hey, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you sharing these with your friends. I'll see you on the next Bob Blast.